Greetings everyone, welcome back to another uh, video of the coffin of Andy and Lele. And so, about this is that I actually kind of, I recorded this video once before, but my audio um, didn't pick up. Or like my microphone was like not connected or something, I don't really know. It was really strange. So I lost that, so I'm having to re-record. Yeah, and also just uh, real quick, before I actually start playing the game, subscribe yes because only like i believe like no 1.8 or something uh either way one percent of the people who watch my videos are actually subscribed so it's like 90 98 or so, so somewhere around there of people that are not subscribed and are just watching my videos just just to watch it how will you know if a new video comes out huh? it's like like my first co uh, coffin of Andy and Lele video, go watch that. You probably didn't even know I made a first one because like you aren't subscribed, or you probably don't even you'll probably watch the first one but don't even know I made a second one because you aren't subscribed. So let's go do that. Subscribe, and and let's just let's just start off start up with the game again because I have to redo all of this. So I I I know what to do. Um, what we need to do is get rope from over here. There's some rope in the uh, in the closet uh, along with with other equipment. I wonder if this is fine. As you untangle the rope from everything else, and our dad wakes up. Nice one, Butterfingers. Son, what on earth are you doing? Er, sorry, I uh needed to uh. There's absolutely no good explanation as to why you're rummaging through their sex toys. And the truth, I want to tie mom up. Doesn't sound any better. I want to fuck myself. Oh yeah, that'll do. Where's your mother? She went to get something from the basement. Actually, I think she could use some help. <laughs> Confused, your father goes to check up on your mother. Got rope. Maybe you should hang yourself with it. Yes, let's go do that. Um, the best place to do that is in the bathroom, right? <laughs> Honey, is everything alright? You take out your cleaver. Yes, dad. Come over here, dad. Andrew, w weren't you supposed to be masturbating? Just walk down. Slow and steady. You tie your father up with the rope. You can't help but notice some old rope burns on his wrist. You better not dwell on it as you'd rather not visualize how they came to be. Yes. And then we need to get the Christmas lights and tie mom up. You tied your mom up using Christmas lights. So this is what your life has come to. Alright, good. Now, do you remember how to perform the rip? Hold up. Mom, what's the pin for your credit card? Is that what this is about? Money? You'd go this far just for a quick buck? What's the pin? And where's the card itself? It's in my purse. She tells you the pin, and you scribble it down on a note. Then I'm gonna go and try this now. Ashley, you stay here and don't do anything. That depends on them. If she gave me the wrong pin, and you end, and you end them, then what? Again, it depends on if they behave or not. Ugh. <sighs> All right, I'll be quick. Okay. Oh, uh, what we gotta do is go get the credit card from mom's purse. It's right there. Got the credit card. Whoa! What are you doing? What are you doing here? Get back downstairs. They're not gonna try anything. It only takes one of them to start screaming for this whole thing to blow up in our faces. It is amazing how cooperative a person is with with a gun pointed at them. Yeah. So go point it. I'll be right back. It's just... Come on, out with it. I need to get going. You're with me on this, right? Sacrificing them? Didn't I already say so? Well, you have this habit of flopping. Lay. Fuck. Look, just trust me, Ashley. We're doing this. Hey, <laughs> you're the best. Come back soon. Yeah, I'll see you in a bit. Well, he's dipping, and now we're playing as Ashley. So... Let's see, while Andrew is busy uh, picking up the money, you decide to set up the ritual, or at least what you remember of it. Let's see, I think it involved... It involved runes, candles, and blood. I drew runes on the floor using the ward and the blood. I, I also set up some candles. And there was a big magic circle already drawn, and I think, that's what was, I think that was drawn with blood too. You nod to yourself, confident and pleased with your memory. Something like that. It, it shouldn't be too hard to do. First things first, I need some blood to draw with. Let's go get some blood, which we can easily get from you. Two human-shaped sacks of blood sit on the floor. 
but you have nothing to cut them with. Oh, I need a knife. Wait, I need a knife. Because you can't you can't cut anyone without a knife. Dude, what are you doing? Go this way. Can't cut anyone without a knife. So uh that's what we gotta do. We gotta get a kitchen knife. But you can cut someone without a without a knife. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna cut you. Alright, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to cut one of you to draw some blood. And if you scream, I'll blow both of your brains out. How about that? Just take the money and go. What do you need our blood for? Oh, so now you care what I'm talk what I'm, what I'm about. Don't you fucking act like I haven't tried with you, Ashley. You're the one who shut me out. But even then, I've sucked my neck out for you all this time. Oh, like that time when you left me to star for three months? Was that you looking out for me? Oh, jeez, thanks. You know damn well what I'm talking about. I never told anyone what you two little psychos did to that girl. <laughs> what are you on about? Take your meds. I know you and Andrew did something to that classmate of yours who went missing. I knew it the second she was found dead near the warehouse you, you used to play at. <laughs> Whatever. If I didn't love you, I could have rid myself of, of you right then and there. When it comes to being a mother, I am a fucking saint, Ashley. A saint! Ah, yes. The patron saint of covering one's own ass. Do you have any idea what what they would have done to you? What what they would have done to you if they found out? Now then, you uh, paragons of virtue. How are you paragons of virtue? Uh, let's see whose blood I should use. Which one? I'll cut mother. Yes. Oh, is this? I think this. Is, Cause I picked uh, the father last time I played through this, and I don't remember this, but I don't know. Honey, it's fine. Don't worry about me. Yeah, she wouldn't worry about you in return. Got blood. Okay. All right, let's see here. Yeah, something like that. Now let's finish drawing this masterpiece. Okay. I wonder if things will be different because I picked the mom this time. I don't know. Dude, place the damn blood. Place the blood, bro. Place the blood. God, I'm, my neck is itching. Place the blood, place the blood, place the blood. Look, Ma, I drew a circle. Do you even know what a circle is? Because it's not that. The nerve of you! You never... No, no. Don't let her get a rise out of you now. Candles. And we find the candles over here. Candles. And we place all the candles on uh, each four... All, all, all the sides. Alright. That's all the candles I had. And then Andrew's back. Welcome back! Andrew, what? Andrew, give us a hug. You have a draw limit on your card? Or you do! I could only get a couple hundred before it locked me out. Ha, <laughs> suck it, bitch. Being insufferable runs in the family. Well, guess what? Now, now we all get to witness the wonders of customer service. Get up, you have a call to make. Ashley, take her to the phone. You draw your gun. Get your bitch ass over here. Off we go. Yes, let's go, mother. And interact with phone. You're in luck, as the customer service line has just opened for the day. Yet somehow, there's already a million hour wait. So guess what? You wait. Uh, yep, we wait. Please hold. Representative will be with you as soon as possible. Wait. Please hold. Representative will be with you as soon as possible. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Please hold. Representative will be with you as soon as possible. Roughly a quarter millennia later, mother gets a hold of someone. I'm sorry. Let me just confirm. You said you want me to remove the draw limit altogether? That is what I said. Yes. Wow, that's crazy. What if your card gets stolen? Indeed. I'm not at all being held at gunpoint here. Ha ha ha. There we go. You're gold. Is there anything else I could help you with? Apparently not. Alrighty then. Have a nice day, Miss Graves. Now it's back to the basement with you. And don't think for a second I didn't see the stunt you were trying to pull there. It was just small talk. Well, yeah, right, mother. Either way. Let's come over here and talk to Andrew. The car should be freed now. Unlike your mother, whom Andrew quickly ties back up. I was looking at what you've set up here. And let's just say it's not quite there, is it? Yeah, I don't remember what the little runes look like anymore. God, your memory's such shit. Though I already figured as much, so I sketched them out for you. Why didn't you just draw the runes themselves? There's blood right there. Because you might have had a good reason for not drawing them yet. Alright, fair. Whatever, give me the card. I'll go pick up the rest of the money. I really don't like the idea of you wandering around all by yourself at this hour. It's already morning, though. Well, yeah, but still. Just hand me the card. I 
Actually, can I really leave Andrew alone with mom and dad? Who knows what they'll say to him, and he's wishy-washy enough as, as it is. Ashley, you wonder if you can trust Andrew enough to leave him alone with your parents. Let's save the game right here. You wonder if you can trust Andrew? Whatever. Let's uh, trust him. Yes, let's trust him. Uh, just give me the card. I'll go get the money. Got credit card. Please be careful. Aren't I always? When When are you ever? Haha, <laughs> see you later. It'll be fine. He won't turn on me as long as I have the trinket. And now it's Andrew time. Andrew time. There's nothing you can do about the missing audio, but at least you can draw the missing runes. Now, where did Ashley get all this? Is she making you do this? No. Are you going to kill us? Come on, of course not. Technically, anyway. Then, what is all this witchcraft looking nonsense? Witchcraft looking nonsense. Just l uh, let her scare you a little. We'll leave you alone after that. How about it? It's hard to say whether she believes you or not. Yep, no, we're killing you. Well, we're not killing you, but Mr. Demon Guy is going to kill you. There was something I tried to talk to you about earlier. I don't really care, honestly. About Ashley. What is it? I wanted to apologize to you. For always making you look after her. That was wrong of me. It's fine. Can you imagine what it was like for me back then? When I was your age, I was already stuck with a, with a seven and a five-year-old to take care of. I uh, think you'd have fared... Uh, or, okay. I uh, think you'd have fared be uh, better than me. I, I wouldn't know. This isn't an excuse, mind you. It's an explanation. I never hated you. I was just a fuck up. D don't say that, honey. We did fine. Ha, <laughs> so fine. Look where we are right now. Anyway, you're such an easy child. I thought we'd be fine having another. I wasn't counting on Ashley to be so. I'm sorry I made you raise her. I thought you were getting along, so I didn't want to see what was happening. And for that, I apologize. It's not my fault. I apologize. Well, it is what it is. It doesn't have to be. I think we can still sort this out. Is that right? If it's money you need, I can help you get a job. They're hiring at your company, aren't they, love? That's right. If I put in a good word for you, you're as good as hired. Be forewarned, though. They get a lot of difficult customers there. But I know you can handle it. Should be easy after handling Ashley all the time. What do you say? Your parents are offering you an olive branch. Save the game. Which one? This one? This one? This one? Uh, which one was it? I have no idea. This is the recent one I just saved, right? I think that one, that one, this one. Okay. Uh, your parents are offering you an olive branch. Decline. I don't really want your olive branches, bro. I don't really like olives, so. Well, about Ashley. I wish you wouldn't talk about her that way. Let's not fight. There's a solution here, I'm sure. What were those death certificates about anyway? It's a life insurance scam, nothing more. How's that work? There's this doctor, well, a surgeon actually. After they told us you'll be stuck in that apartment, we got redirected to him. And as far as the records go, you died from the parasites. I didn't even know I had any life insurance. Well, I got it for you too after you got quarantined. It's kind of... It's kind of curious that they let you do that. So then, when we died, were you in on it? Of course not! I really thought you died! They said your bodies had, had to be burned because of the parasites. So that's why I never got to confirm it myself. Ah, she's full of shit. Where are you going? I, ha I have to finish setting things, this thing up for her. Oh, come on. Forget about this nonsense. We can sort the documents out. Hell, you can even live here if that doesn't work out. You can live- you can leave this whole mess behind you, just like that. Uh, that's okay, I'm not really interested. What? But that- that doesn't make any sense. Why would you not? I get it. You fucker. <laughs> oh, what? Wha? Oh, that's- it. that is disgusting! Andrew, she's your sister for God's sake! I haven't done anything, what the hell, mom? Then what does she- what does she give you that makes it worth all this- all this? Well... That's none of your business, is it? I knew something was off. How did I fuck up so bad? I'm the worst mother ever. No, I mean, yes, you are, but I have never. I'm back. Now, now of all times. I got the money. Did you miss me, handsome? Did you? I want to die. Oh, whatever. Summon the fucking demon already. 
Oh, so eager. Um, let's see if it shows up, though. Since there's no music. Wait, what are you talking about? Quiet, you. I'm still armed. Andrew, light the candles. Okay, time to light said candles. There's one, two, uh, three, and four. All right, get to it. Time to summon a fucking demon. You're Ashley. Yes. Now we interact with this weird-ass eye. Hello, Mr. or Miss Demon. I'm sorry, I don't have the mood music, but I have the other stuff you asked for. There's no answer. Maybe if I sing something. Please don't. Mercifully, the demon shows up to spare everyone from the second-hand embarrassment. Ta soul. What the fuck is that? I offered those two. Their screaming is short-lived as the demon steals their souls. I wonder if I should feel something. Well, anyway, so the music what wasn't needed to summon you after all? Why'd I have to play it last time then? The circle is hard to find. Sound is easy to follow. However, you have my talisman now. It makes you easy to find. Speaking of which, deal's a deal. Charge it up, please. Your trinket works again. Yes. Thank you. What? Uh, hello. This is the brother. That's right. My pride and joy. And no, you can't have his soul. It's mine. I will see you again, Ta Soul. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Bring this one with you. What? Me? Why? Doki, the entity leaves. And that's that. The trinket is charged. What did it mean? It'll summon you. Who cares? What do we do about the bodies? Cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The bodies, Andy. Focus. Right, the bodies. Uh, well... On one hand, we didn't kill them, but on the other, them having gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they're just fucked off somewhere, who knows. Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation. Right, so let's make them disappear. Right, we can start by chopping them up. Can we just dump them in, in the ocean or something? No, Ashley. Uh, we're going to make them vanish, not wash up ashore a somewhere. Okay. Um, let's do that. Uh, how to get about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Well, there's a drain right right there. Uh, right. Ah, uh, uh, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. No, just dumb and an and an ass. Oh, wow. Check out the smart ass right here. That's a lot of ass. Andrew is untying your parents, but stops. Wait. What is it? Is dad breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Ah, he is! Mom, too! Oh. Okay. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet, their hearts still beat. Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable? That can't be! The cult has died, and the war to do! Well, I mean, did you actually check? I sure didn't. I went to town and started chopping. Oh no, no, please, please tell me he wasn't still alive when we ate him. <laughs> what the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If, if not, you ripping his head off must have done the trick. You ate an arm. That's not really going to do much. Or, it's not, well, the, the arm is not alive, basically. It'll be the same with these two. Get to cutting. Oh, that, this changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. So, if you want to leave them to starve, I'm all for it. Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? God damn, bro. Bro, bro stabs her. You get your father, too. What are you doing? They're all dead. Now tell me again how, um, how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per, as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Cat, you're like in my way. Why are you just chilling there, cat? Uh, now we, we do this. Alright, I'll start cutting. You guide the blood into the drain with a shower head. Gotcha! 
Whoa, 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 what? Stop, stop. Stop, it's flooding. Oh, what the hell? Gross. Oh, great, the drain is clogged. Yeah, and the lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. Just keep chopping the bodies. I'll get you something to unclog the drain with. Okay, I need a screwdriver. I need to come over here, get the vinegar, and then uh, go get baking soda because that's what we need for uh, to make it go kaboomy. Which we can get the baking soda from there and uh, come come down. Okay, now what are you? Oh, what what? Whoa! Do do your thing. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour some vinegar. Wrong. The baking soda goes first. Who gives a shit? You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then douse it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen, lessen one bit. Well, we tried. I'll get you some rubber gloves. I'm the one who's gonna have to get in there. But of course, I am a I'm I am but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Fine, just give me the gloves. The gloves are right over here. The gloves. And come back over to Mr. Andrew Tate. <laughs> here you go, have fun. Handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He digs out God knows what out of the drain. A seemingly never ending amount of God knows what. Oh God, that is disgusting. Oh, I'm gonna gag. You're not helping. Th fuck, that is gross, Andy. <laughs> Bold of you to call me that when I am armed. You wouldn't. Come here, you. No, don't you dare. No, I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine. You are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. Okay, you and your brother dismember your parents and disembowel them and decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of um, oscillating between freaking out and apathy, like you expected him to. Uh, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, uh, that, okay. Yeah. Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it, it's really nothing. You must be seeing things. Uh, what? Uh, to think I'd even bear witness to being distraught over our parents' corpse. Oh, right. But then again, I bet you're just moping, uh, moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm, what? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be, considering the circumstances. That's good. You're being weird. Look who's talking. <laughs> alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. In uh, incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. Yeah, okay. Pretty wild. So what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's look around and see what we can do. Yep, let's do that. Let's pick this head. Let's pick up everything else. Pick you up. There's a lot of limbs. Yep. Uh, there's a pile of organs. Pick up this head. And uh, go up and uh, do stuff. Let me come over to the fire pit. Because that's what I remember. Yeah. Uh, oh, can we burn the bodies here? It would be like cremation. Uh, there's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boo hoo, watch. You place the torso above the fireplace. Andrew rolls his eyes but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Give it a minute, goddammit. This isn't working. It makes me kind of hungry though. Let's leave this be for now. Now we come over here. You got chopped meat, you skin the head, you got face on Sue, you got skull. What do we do with the face? Um, make masks out of them? I don't know, throw them in, in the fireplace? And what about the skull? Well, the skull we can deal with later, along with all the other bones. Okay. Uh, you pour your parents' organs. Yep, we blend the organs. How's that? Good as gone? I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want to... Did you want a disease or something? Of course I wouldn't offer you raw meat. You really... You really take me for an idiot, don't you? I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. Uh, this idiot just poured your parents down the drain. Alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. Poor idiot. Oh, I know, let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, maybe spices, and then throw the rest as scraps. What do you mean, the rest? 
Oh, uh, what do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. Oh, wh what was with that soup you made earlier and what were the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for, uh, for, uh, for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up and throw them into the pot. Ah, there we go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Okay, let's go get the the vegetables, the vegetables over here. We got the, the potatoes, got the carrots, and got the on, uh, onions. The the onions. Uh, can I pick up the uh, rock? I can't pick up the rock. Uh, let's hop into the window because we are uh, crazy like that. Now let's put everything in. You don't have all the ingredients. For oh, I forgot. I gotta put everything up. Cut, cut, cut. Put out the. Uh, look at that. Much better than your soup. Now, was there anything else we still needed to deal with? Uh, I don't think so. Let me go down. Go down here. And uh, yeah, I don't see anything down here. Mm, maybe. Let me actually come over and interact with. Can I interact with anything else? Maybe if I interact with this. Uh, no, that does nothing. I leave. I actually, yeah, I come back over here. Uh, threw faces into the fire. Do you think the soup is ready yet? Now let's head over here and get the soup. Dinner is ready. I'm eating too. Of course, this is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right, now say ah. Ah. Yep, unexpected. Well, 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 how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Mom's just a dry person, alright? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup! No, Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. I rate this waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Huh? <laughs> You will retract that statement at once! I slave away in the kitchen for you and this is the thanks I get? I'm sorry you can't cook. You're not forgiven! Oh. Jackass, eat shit and die! Well, this food is certainly shit. What? Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine! Yes. It's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Why, yes indeed. This cooking is beyond my moral comprehension. Correct? An out-of-this-world culinary experience which which the likes of me cannot even taste properly because my taste buds simply aren't involved enough to sense all the sort of... Truly, when, when I said waste of ingredients, it's a waste to feed it on to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed to kings no, no gods. Uh, that's more like it. So exquisite is your cooking that I will write you a shitty poem about it. Oh god, <laughs> Lo and behold, I implore you, come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and there is food too. To ease your weary soul, she brewed a broth to give you quite the fright. There must be magic on her fingertips to cook such a delight. And yet the meat is drier than her lips, quarter past midnight. Should I buy lip balm? And the meat isn't dry, goddammit, it's just right! <laughs> oh, whatever. Uh, humans are hard to cook. I'll get it next time. What next time? Whatever. Anyhow, I think we've dealt with the flesh to, to the best of our abilities, but we still need to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. Okay. Uh, the leftover soup gets dumped in the, in the garbage can outside. Right there. While your parents might belong in a trash, it isn't a good idea to dunk them here as they are. Maybe if the bodies look less conspicuous. What do you mean by that? Don't worry too much about someone seeing you throw away the soup. As long as you don't look nervous, no one will think anything of it. Aren't you talking to yourself right now? Right. What was I thinking? You wouldn't worry even if I told you. Okay. Over uh the sink, maybe? No? Oh, here. It should be fine to just, uh, chuck, uh, chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Got human soup. Okay. Now let's, uh, go just throw, throw the, the soup into the trash bin. Throw away the leftover human soup. Now we are Andrew. We are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all these, all the bones. For now, I'll just collect them and, be and all before Ashley loses track of them. Got plastic bag. 
Okay, I don't see any more bones over here. So let's come over to the fireplace. The flesh has burned in charcoal, but the bones remain. Got bones, you put them into the plastic bag. Okay, let me go outside because I need to go to the rock. I need to go get a rock. Because uh, we're going to throw this plastic bag into the ocean. So I got, a, got some rocks, we place them into the bag. Yep, we're going to throw this uh, bag into the ocean. And then it's going to sink to the bottom. So let's come over. Oh, the so what do we do with these skulls? We uh, are thinking of just throwing uh, those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What did we do all this uh, other crap for? Why you? As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what logic? The uh, dental records, I guess? You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved. Uh, beloved. For I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like sticks? I already picked up some rocks just to be sure. Okay, well, let's jack these teeth. Now let's flush the teeth down the toilet. Flush the teeth down the toilet. Through them all. You wish you could uh, flush your problems or whatever. Let's uh, pick up the skull. Got toothless skull. And pick up this skull. Got toothless skull. Finally. All that remains now is cleaning up the basement. Ah, uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? We'll have to sacrifice someone again later anyway. Huh? Why would it have to be here? Uh, we're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but... Eventually, someone is going to go... Uh, hey, Miss... Grace. Hey, Miss Grace hasn't showed up in, um, to work in a while. S so they get fired, so what? I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. There's also the fact that they apparently mingled with the per people here. The neighbors will notice them gone, dis despite the their name still being on the door. We can tell some lie. Let's say we're house watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy? Or, what a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. Anyway. They can't all go... Have, haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come looking with the authorities. And who will they find here? Their children. Who didn't report their parents missing. Officer asks, How the fuck aren't, they, aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to, if you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's it's so that I, it's it's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use our ID? We can be the new and impro new and improved Mrs. Graves. Ugh, we run into the same problem as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. So Ashley. I wish it was that easy. Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easily. Whether, uh, whatever. I'll clean the basement then. Okay. Now we are Ashley. Or Ashley. God damn it! I really thought we were in that in the clear after this. Ah, oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. Yep. Gonna need a mop. Which the mop is right there. Pick up the mop, and let's mop. This is, gonna be, this is gonna take a while, so I have to mop up every little every little piece. And all the runes are gone. All the runes are gone. Okay, now, now what? Oh, I gotta mop up the runes as well. I didn't know that. Okay, mop up the runes. Okay, should I put the candles back in the box too? Yes, you should. Let's get all the all the goddamn candles. Get all the candles and put them in the box. Put the candles in the box. Return all candles into the box. Now what? The basement's clean. The base the, the basement's clean. All done. Are we ready to go? I think so. Though there's no way to tell if we miss something still, other than maybe see if you have a dream where, where we, uh, where we're caught, I guess. I offer two souls, so it stands to reason I have at least two visions to come. How about I take a nap and see if a disaster awaits us? Please do. Okay, let's come over here and uh, go to sleep. So, what are the conditions to get a vision? As in, what did the demon say about it exactly? Hell if I remember, you don't? Uh, could you possibly give any less of a fuck that, uh, that'd be great. Oh, do forgive me, your highness. 
two, it's been a week or two, and up and up yours, you didn't even remember our parents' address, which is of course just as important as this. L look it, or look, it just it just said that I need to hold on to it uh, to have clairvoyant dreams. That, that's it. I was uh, it was in my pocket last time when it happened. Then uh, could I hold it this time? It gave it to me, so maybe it wouldn't work with you. Uh, what's it hurt to try? God, you can't you can't read between the lines for shit. Uh, that was me telling you no. I did get it. I just don't care. Stop being so selfish all, all the time and let me try. It's my trinket. Ever heard of sharing? How am I supposed to share this thing? Do you, do you want to cut the trinket in half? I'm sure that'd be great. No, just... We're not cutting it! That's not it, but I'm sure we can both hold it at the same time. Uh, see if either of us get a vision. How? It's a bit small. Between our hands, right? Oh my, how romantic! Come again. Holding hands when we sleep together? Man, fuck off. Haha! <laughs> Alright, forget this. Good night. I'm kidding, it's fine. Though, I'm, I still think I'm gonna ha I'm gonna be the only one who has a vision. We'll see. Okay. Good night. Good night. Okay. <laughs> Fuck this, how am I supposed to sleep after you went and said something so off color? <laughs> and it doesn't help at all. Mom said something outrageous too. Oh yeah, I heard that. You did, huh? So that's what that little show was about earlier. Did you see her? Did, did you see her face? That was great. I hope she regrets her entire life just then, or she regretted her entire life. I'm pr pretty sure she's just regretting giving birth to us. I'll take it. If for once she regretted the both of us, then I'm happy. Okay, we're now laying down. What? Nothing. Good night. And we are asleep. It isn't long until sleep takes you over. And we. Oh, okay. We are in a dream. Not don't do that. Uh, let me save real quick. Save right there. And I'm actually gonna end the video here. This is where I ended the video uh, last time, and I don't really want to go uh, further uh, at this moment. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, yeah, subscribe like I said before. Uh, I want to get to uh, a thousand subscribers at least. You know, at least a thousand. Yeah, I only have like three hundred. So yeah, I mean, uh, give me 2,000. I will appreciate that. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out and bye-bye.